Hey everyone, so in case you hadn't heard, yesterday the ICC, the International Criminal Court, has put out a ridiculous warrant for the arrest of Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, along with some other senior Israeli officials. Uh, this came also with a warrant for the arrest of certain top Hamas officials, making some sort of equation between the two sides, which is absolutely uh, tragic and pathetic, uh, the state that our world is in. Uh, for what it's worth, the President of the United States, Joe Biden, released a statement after the warrants were issued by the International Criminal Court saying that the ICC issuance of arrest warrants against Israeli leaders is outrageous. Let me be clear once again, whatever the ICC might imply, there is no equivalence, none, between Israel and Hamas. He said, we will always stand with Israel against threats to its security. As well, he should, and good on him for making that statement. Let's check out what Bibi Netanyahu said in response to this ridiculous, uh, this ridiculous warrant that was sent his way. The anti-Semitic decision of the International Court in The Hague is a modern Dreyfus trial, and it will end the same way. 130 years ago, the French Jewish officer, Alfred Dreyfus, was falsely accused of treason by a biased French court. In response to these false accusations, the great French writer Emile Zola wrote his monumental essay, J'accuse. He accused the French court of anti-Semitic lies against an innocent officer who was later exonerated of all guilt. Now an international court in The Hague, also headed by a French judge, is repeating this outrageous offense. It is falsely accusing me, the democratically elected prime minister of the state of Israel, and Israel's former defense minister, Yoav Gallant, of deliberately targeting civilians. This when we do everything in our power to avoid civilian casualties. We issue millions of text messages, phone calls, leaflets to the citizens of Gaza to get them out of harm's way, while the Hamas terrorists do everything in their power to keep them in harm's way, including shooting them, using them as human shields. The court in The Hague accuses us of a deliberate policy of starvation. This one we've supplied Gaza with 700,000 tons of food to feed the people of Gaza. That's 3,200 calories for every man, woman, and child in Gaza. And these supplies are routinely looted by Hamas terrorists who deprive their people of much needed food. Yet just in the last few weeks, Israel facilitated the vaccination of 97% of the people of Gaza against polio. This doesn't prevent the court of accusing us of genocide. What in God's name are they talking about in The Hague? The truth is simple. No war is more just than the war that Israel has been waging in Gaza after Hamas attacked us, unprovoked, launched the, launching the worst massacre against the Jewish people since the Holocaust. The decision to issue an arrest warrant against me, the democratically elected prime minister of the state of Israel, and our former defense minister, was made by a rogue prosecutor who's trying to extricate himself from sexual harassment charges and by biased judges who are motivated by anti-Semitic sentiments against the one and only Jewish state. These judges did nothing. They did nothing against the real war crimes committed against the millions who've been murdered or uprooted by the dictatorships in Iran, Syria, and Yemen. Instead, they falsely accused the one democracy in the Middle East, Israel, thereby imperiling the right of all democracies to defend themselves against murderous terrorists and tyrants. Nor did the court do anything against the Hamas terrorists who raped our women, beheaded our men, burned babies alive in front of their parents, and kidnapped hundreds of men, women, and children to the underground dungeons of Gaza. They're still holding 101 hostages, citizens of many lands, including the United States. Come to think of it, the court did issue one arrest warrant against Hamas. Now hear this. They issued an arrest warrant against the corpse of the Hamas arch-terrorist Muhammad Dev. His corpse. What an absurdity. No biased anti-Israel decision in The Hague will prevent the state of Israel from defending its citizens. And I want to thank our many friends around the world, especially those in the United States, who've condemned this outrage 
and who have said that this decision will have severe consequences for the ICC and those who cooperate with its decision. Israel does not, Israel will not, recognize the validity of this decision. We will continue to do everything we must do to defend our citizens and defend our state against Iran's axis of terror, Iran and its terrorist proxies, which include Hamas, Hezbollah, the Houthis, and others. Our enemies are your enemies, and our victory will be your victory, the victory of civilization over barbarism and tyranny. Goodness, the ICC is just pathetic at this point. You know, John Spencer, the the foremost authority in all of urban warfare, he's the, out of West Point, he's, he's written multiple times with tons of evidence that Israel is conducting a war that is above and beyond uh, any expectation according to international law. And it's not even close to the concept of genocide. Genocide is just, it's so ridiculous a, a term and an assumption when talking about the situation that's going on in the land of Israel. Uh, uh, this, the ICC, the UN, all of these organizations that have such tremendous bias, you know, it, it, it's the, the, the concept, the theory behind them is so good, yet they just become corrupt organizations full of villainy and, and deception and, and, and corruption. It, it's sad. It really is sad. And, and I, I hope sincerely for the day where our organizations, our whether they are national government organizations or international government organizations, that they should be living up to the the words, the credo in which they in which they claim to stand for the for the goodness of the people that they represent. And uh, it, it's a sad day for the world when uh, when these sorts of statements are there. We should pray for the uh, for the redemption of our world. And um, man, what a what a ridiculous day. All right. In any case, um, I, I hope everyone is doing well despite this this garbage news. And um, and I look forward to speaking with all of you soon. Take care, everybody.